Hello, good viewers. You are highly welcome. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to be uh, solving this beautiful equation. So we are going to be looking for the value of what x. So what the value of x here? So we have x to power two equals two to power x. Okay. So uh, what do you think we are going to be having? So we need to look at it in terms of a graph. Okay. So let's see how this is going to. Uh, we first look at the how we can determine. You know the value of x okay from this equation so now uh let's take a look at this um graph here so now let's say we have this graph this is uh we have this to be y as x and we have this to be x as x so you know that if you have this x squared okay would be in this form like this okay maybe in this form like that then we have two to power x is going to be in this form like this okay so now what we are saying is that this is this one is x squared so this is this is x squared and this is a uh, 2 to power x here yeah? so now automatically you can see we have the point of intersection here we have the point of intersection here right then also it's possible if this should go this way okay if we should extend it like this so it's possible we might have another point of intersection with this okay so therefore this can be uh x1 this can be x2 and this will be what it will be x3 here do you understand now so therefore we are going to be having uh three you know uh possible you know solutions to the value of x here so now uh, by doing that so i want us to look at this how we can get the our uh, x1 x2 and uh, x3 okay so now from there i want you to stay focused and see what we are going to do so now from there so let me start by having x squared all right equals 2 to power x so now from there uh i'm going to introduce uh ln to the both sides of this i'm going to be having ln ln of x squared then ln 2x so now from there these two we come down we have 2 ln x equals x ln to the powers okay so now from there uh let me try to separate the uh, variable x and the constant term together uh, i'm going to separate them so it's going to be let divide both side by 2x if i divide both side by 2x so these two we cancel these two here i have ln x over x equals ln 2x we cancel this x and we have this so now when you look at this uh, by comparison you can see that uh x equals to 2 if you look at this you have ln x over x equals ln 2 over 2 so whatever you have inside here you can see i have look at this place here look at this place here you can see that we are having the same thing look at this place here and look at this so whatever i have here is what i have here i have ln 2 here i have 2 here so which is saying that we have what we have automatically we have x that is that is x1 to be equals what equals to right so we have x1 equals to so now let's look at the uh, second so let's come from from here where we said ln x over x equals ln 2 over what over 2 so now from here so i want us to do something i want to i want us to do something here now this x1 we got here put it to this equation consider that it's satisfied 2 raised to power 2 will give us 4 then 2 raised to power 2 will also give us 4 so here now let me multiply both numerator and numerator by by 2 by 2 by 2 like this okay you see that this is multiplication so i can have this to be ln x over x equals these two i can take it back ln 2 and over our 2 times 2 we have 4 right so you can see that from there we have ln x over s which is equals this two can be ln 2 to power 2 turn to power then over what over 4 that is when you have a log b so this can be log b to power a that is what i said here that's what i use a so now from there what i'm what am i going to have i'm going to have in ln x over x equals ln 4 over what over 4 so now the same reason okay 
if you try to look at this look at this x x so we can deduce that s equals what s equals 4 so therefore we have another that is x2 to be 4 so now how do we know so now put the value of 4 back to this uh back to this place if you put 4 here that is 4 raised to power 2 that will give us 16 2 raised to power 4 will also give us 16 so we can see that uh, the x2 x2 which is 4 also satisfies this uh, equation now to get the uh, solution the third solution okay so we are going to be using a uh, lambert w function or we call lambert w function so the lambert w function is this when you have w let's say a is multiplying e raised to power a so this will automatically give us what a back so that is uh, the use of lambert w function so let me bring the question back the question is s squared equals 2 to power x so now we have that so now what we're going to do so is that uh, we are going to divide through by both sides okay by both sides divide through uh 2x by both sides of the equation that is f squared over 2x equals 2x over, what, over 2x so you can see automatically we have f squared over 2x then equals what equals 1 right so now from there so we are going to be rewriting something here you know that i can rewrite this equation in this one f squared dot 1 over 2 to the power x equals what equals 1 right so now from there i can have this to be f squared dot 2 to the power minus x equals 1 so that is from the law of indices okay so that is the reciprocal of one of these that is 2 minus x I mean 2 to the power minus x we don't have this that is from the law of indices so now from there so uh what do i do from here what do i do so now because our intention is that anything we have here we want it to resemble what we have inside the function i mean the function of our w here so but we consider we, are, we have here, here so we are going to be looking at the way so that we're going to be having changing this to to e but before that so i want us to do something so uh, because i have s squared here so and i have minus x here so i want to see how i can reduce this so now what do i do if i try to square i mean taking the square root of both sides if i do that this way so what do you think i'm going to be having so you can see that what i'm going to be having is that i'm going to be having x because this square we cancel the square root then multiply by 2 minus x then 1 over 2 right then this is going to be plus or minus 1 okay plus or minus 1 so let's have it that way so this is what we're going to have if you take this goal if you take the uh square root of both sides so this is what we are going to be having here so now from here you can see that we have x okay 2 minus x over 2 because this we multiply this then we have plus or minus 1 so now from there the next thing we're going to do from there is that let's now see how we can change this base 2 to something like um okay i am having minus 1 over 2 here i'm having uh minus 1 over 2 and i want it to be the same thing so what do you think i can still do to the uh, both sides of the equation so therefore if i should multiply both sides by half that is 1 over 2 okay then multiply by 1 over 2 you understand you can see that i'm going to be having x over 2 right dot 2 minus x over 2 equals plus or minus 1 over 2 are you following so you can see that we are getting something nice now so getting something nice here so what do you think you're going to have here we are going to have this minus x over 2 i have x over 2 here so it's getting something is uh i'm getting something now beautiful now so now here i want to rewrite this 2 here this 2 can be written as don't forget that when you have e lin a you're going to be having a 
So the same thing if you have e lin 2, we're going to be having 2 because in the what's it called in logarithm, so e and lin that is this and this they are x they are inverse of each other. So this we cancel this, we have that. So I'm going to be writing this two in this form. This is going to be x over two, right? x over two. E lin two. But then we're going to have minus x over two, right? Equals plus or minus one over two. Are you there? So now from there, the next thing we have is that we can see that we have e now. E is there now, which is same thing as we have e here. So now what you're going to do now is that since you have lin two here, but well, if you remember, you can see that from this whatever that is the coefficient of e must be the power of e. So now look at this one now. X over two is the coefficient of e, but l n two to the power minus x over 2 is the power of e so therefore we need to multiply uh we need to okay before that this x minus x over 2 you can have it as x over 2 e this one here okay this can come to the back that is x over 2 from the lot of w and then 2 i get it now equals plus or minus 1 over 2. So now from here, what do you think we have? So you can see that here we have minus x over 2 ln 2. So there's something missing here which is ln 2. So therefore we are going to multiply both sides. Both. And this minus here, we are going to be multiply everything by minus ln 2 x over 2 right e minus x over 2 ln 2 equals minus no if minus should come here now therefore everything is going to be positive and, and we are going to be having one over two do you understand so now since we have one over two here we have minus here okay so i can rewrite this equation in this form here now I can have this to be taking x over 2 minus that is minus x over 2 from here ln 2 e to power minus x over 2 ln 2 equals 1 over 2 right so now you can see that the coefficient of e is now the same thing as the power of e so therefore we can now apply the w number w function to the both sides of the equation right so now from there since we have that you can see that here that thing we have a the same thing we have as the power of e here so therefore applying the law that says w a e a we give us what we give us a that is lambert then we are going to have what we're going to have this to be minus x over 2 right lin 2 equals w 1 over 2 so now from there so what do we have left so we can see that we try to multiply both sides by 2 or let's say minus 2 you must have a minus 2, we're going to have x ln 2 equals minus 2 w 1 over 2, right? So now from here, ln 2, there's ln 2 here because we multiply both sides by ln 2. If you remember from here that we multiply this place that we multiply ln 2 here, so we're supposed to have ln 2 here also. I'm very sorry for that. So this will be ln 2 here. We have what we have uh, ln 2, 1 over 2, ln 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, ln 2. We have 1 over 2, ln 2 there. So here, 1 over 2, 
ln2 1 over 2 ln2 do you understand now so 1 over 2 ln2 1 over 2 ln2 so from there what do we have so we are going to have this one here to be dividing both by ln2 okay dividing both by ln2 so this we cancel this we are going to be having x to be equals minus 2 over ln2 then function w function 1 over 2 ln what ln2 and we have the x3 to be this right and that is the solution to the problem okay if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this to your colleagues so they can benefit from it thank you bye bye